Sandra, I'm looking at your brochure and it looks really good. Um, I just noticed when I push W, um, you can see the bleed line comes to here. Um, it's kind of hard to see your bleed line, actually. I, for some reason, I can't see it. Um, it's kind of weird. But anyway, this red line should go all the or this black box should go all the way out to the bleed line. You did it with this background color, but you just didn't do it with the black. So next time around, just remember to bring that all the way out to the bleed line, all the way around your document. If there's a background color, take it all the way there. And then same thing goes for this. Um, so bringing this all the way here, probably, you know, to the bleed line or past. And even with this image here, you know, taking that all the way to the bleed line as well. Um, push W. You can see that looks good. Um, we're a little, this is a little bit tight too. I mean, you could bring this down a couple of points just so it's not so close to the edge. Um, you did a really good job with all your images. I checked them all out with the info panel and the white arrow tool, and they're all above 300 and in CMYK color, so great job there. Um, this one's a little bit lower, but um, that's not a big deal. It's above 250, which is really the absolute cutoff. So good job adjusting all of those images. It's kind of a lot of work, but it's just the way it goes. Um, and then I noticed you had some text problems. So if you go edit spelling, dynamic spelling, this is a nice thing. If you push W, you can only you can use it. Um, so edit spelling, dynamic spelling. If it's checked, it'll tell you if there's a spelling mistake. So I can, oops, I'm going to zoom in, not zoom out. So we can see there's a couple of problems here like this. There's an extra M here. Um, everything else is pretty good. I did notice there was one other... Oh, so this is... I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe it's supposed to be arts and entertainment, music, info arts, and evening shows. I'm not quite sure what this extra line of text is supposed to, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Um, and this is spelled wrong, historic. Um, so this dynamic spelling under edit spelling is kind of handy. You have to have the W pushed though um, to see the red. And the red will tell you if something's spelled weird. Sometimes it just comes up red and it's, there's actually nothing wrong, but sometimes it's a good way of kind of checking the spelling on your document. But other than that, um, the bleeds and the spelling errors, um, it looks really good. This looks super professional. I really like the images you chose um, for the different events. It all makes a lot of sense. And all your text looks pretty good. Nine point is a pretty good size. Wouldn't want to go any further much lower than that. But yeah, great job on this. It looks really professional. So um, I wonder if this is spelled wrong. Maybe it was. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon and have a good winter break.